Here is question 2b, part 1. So what we've got some more information about apples. And we are told that same sample of the 1,200 apples that we had in part A. Um, from that, there are 890 of those apples that were jazz apples. And then we're also told that there are 182 of the beauty variety that were not diseased. So they've given us the previous table um, that might be helpful for us. And we're asked what proportion of apples were of the jazz variety and diseased. So if I look at the table that we've got, we've only got information on this table about whether they are diseased or not, and then whether they're grown conventionally or organically. So that conventional or organic is not actually helpful for this question. There's nothing in this question that talks about organic and conventional. So the first thing we actually need to do is create ourselves a table. Okay, so I'm going to need to make my own table. So I'm going to start off by, I still need my disease and not diseased because that's been talked about in the question. So I still need my disease and not disease. Okay, um, and I'm going to need a total because we always need a total. Then the other part of the information that we've been given is our, whether they're a jazz variety or a beauty variety. So we've got a jazz variety and we've got a beauty variety and we also need a total column. Um, so we're told here that we've got the same sample of the 1200. So my total number of apples that I'm talking about is 1200. And from that, 890 of those were jazz apples. So I can say my total number of jazz apples is 890. Now the jazz plus the beauty has to add up to 1,200. So if I do 1,200 minus 890, that tells me there are 310 beauty apples. Okay, now let's look at what other information we've been given. We're told that there are 182 of the apples that are beauty that were not diseased. So it's talking about the beauty apples that are not diseased, there is 128 of those apples. Okay, now let's see if we can finish filling in the rest of the table. So I know the column of beauty apples, I've got 310 beauty apples in total, 128 of them are diseased, so 310 minus 128 leaves me with 182 beauty apples that do not have a disease. Okay. Now that I've got there, I think, crikey, what else am I going to do? I can't work out the other numbers yet. And this is where we need that table above. So looking at that table above, I can look at the disease section and say, oh, look, there were 180 apples that were diseased in total. So I'm going to use that in my table here, and I'm going to say, right, there are still 180 apples that were diseased. And there are also 100, sorry, 1,020 apples that are not diseased. So now that I have that information, now I can complete the rest of my table. So I know that the, for the diseased apples, there's 180 in total, 128 of them are beauty, Therefore, 180 minus 128 leaves me with 52 apples that are diseased, that are jazz. And then to find the last one, I can do 890 minus 52, or I could do 1020 minus 182. That will give me the same answer of 838. So there is my table. I've put all the information together. Now I'm going to look at the question to see, remind myself what the question was asking. So it's asking what proportion of apples in the sample, so that means from the total, okay, from the total, were of the jazz variety and diseased. So jazz and diseased, well we've got 52 that are jazz, that are jazz and diseased. So let's write that up. We can say the probability of an apple being jazz apple and diseased is... 52 out of the 1,200 in the sample, or if you want to write it as a decimal, that would be 0 0.043.